Hi, I'm Angela Schmidt, and as a chiropractor, low back pain is one of the more common complaints I see among my patients. So joint motion is vital to spinal health, and specific chiropractic adjustments restore motion into those joints in the spine. Every once in a while, though, I'll have my patients ask me if there's anything they could be doing at home, such as exercises or stretches that might help them along the process. And while there is no ideal set of exercises for all individuals, the big three developed by Stuart McGill, I feel comes pretty close to being ideal for most folks because these exercises were designed to minimize loads in the spine while maximizing muscular effort and endurance. So with me, I have my wonderful assistant, Holly, and she will be helping me demonstrate these exercises today. So before we get started with the big three, a quick note about spinal nerves. So spinal nerves are mobile and dynamic and they should slide and glide through the spine. That's why I recommend beginning with a cat-cow flow first prior to the big three. That way we're gonna mobilize those nerves and help warm up the spine. So begin in tabletop with your hips directly over your knees. Your hands should be shoulder distance apart and slightly ahead of your shoulders. The wrist creases should be parallel to the front of the mat. As you press down firmly through your hands, inhale as you lower your back and belly, lifting your chin and chest, broadening across your collarbones. Keep the back of your neck long as you look up and move your hips back towards your heels, flexing the hips. Then go ahead and return to a neutral spine and tabletop. Next, you'll exhale and round your spine towards the ceiling dropping the crown of your head and your tailbone. Draw your lower belly in and up. Continue to push the floor away with your hands to broaden across your shoulder blades, looking down chin to chest, now lean forward, extending the hips. Then you'll release this pose by returning to a neutral spine in tabletop. So next we're gonna be moving on to the big three, but before we begin, I want to tell you about the abdominal brace because I'll be referencing this throughout the rest of the video. So to get a feel of what the abdominal brace is like, I want you to take your thumbs and place them at your lowest ribs, and then take your little fingers and place those at the top of your iliac crest or your hip bones. So now with the remaining fingers, you're going to press those into your abdomen. Then you're going to engage your abdominal muscles and press those fingers away. Press your abdominals into those fingers. So what you're feeling for here is firmness in the abdomen, not rigidity. You don't wanna be puffing your stomach out or sucking it in. You just want a nice firmness there in the abdomen. Holly will now demonstrate a curl up designed to target the interior abdominal muscles. Start by laying on your back with your hands placed under your low back to preserve a neutral spinal posture. You want to avoid flattening your back to the floor. Bend one knee and leave the other leg straight to help maintain a neutral spine. Activate your abdominal muscles by engaging in an abdominal brace. This will help prevent any movement occurring in the low back. Then perform the curl up by raising your head and upper shoulders off the floor by an inch or two. This motion takes place in the thoracic spine or your mid back only, not your low back or your neck. Remember to breathe deeply throughout and not hold your breath. You're going to hold this curl up for about 10 seconds. Then you're going to relax back down, switch legs, and then repeat the curl up again for about 10 seconds. This completes one repetition. Do a total of six reps. Next, we'll move on to targeting the abdominal obliques and quadratus lumborum by performing a side bridge or side plank. Beginner's level of this exercise involves bridging the torso between the elbow and knees. Start with your knees bent 90 degrees with legs stacked on top of each other. Your free top hand can assist with shoulder stability by actively pulling down on the lower shoulder. Otherwise, your top arm can rest alongside your torso. Movement is purely from the hip as you lift the hips up into the bridge position. Maintain a neutral curve in your low back. Hold the pose for seven to eight seconds. Do five to eight repetitions per side. Be sure to maintain the abdominal brace, a neutral spine, and breathe deeply while performing. For the last of the big three, we'll focus on the extensor muscles in the back, and Holly will be performing a balancing cat or bird dog. When performing isometric holds such as this, you just need to hold for seven to eight seconds. It's much better to build endurance with increased repetitions rather than increased hold time. 
Begin on hands and knees in tabletop position. The easiest variation is to begin with only straightening one leg behind you without changing the shape of the low back. You will hold for seven to eight seconds, then switch legs. Perform five to eight repetitions. Once that is mastered, you can progress to raising the one leg along with the opposite arm. You will hold for seven to eight seconds before switching arms and legs. Perform five to eight repetitions. When you're doing this, make sure that neither the arm or leg is higher than horizontal to help preserve a neutral spine. Be sure to maintain the abdominal brace. So there's lots of resources online you can find regarding those big three exercises designed by him, but this is a great reference tool as well, particularly if you like yoga, Your Spine, Your Yoga by Bernie Clark. So we use this as our reference guide for these exercises today. Thank you so much for your time.